everybody, it's Duke Ferguson, owner, CEO, and master trainer of Unleashed Potential Canine Academy. You know, over the past several weeks, um, we have seen a huge increase in fear and anxiety, unease, distraction, and even panic over this corona pandemic and the sinful actions of many people. These are definitely chaotic times, definitely stressful times, and actually even scary times, but panicking is not gonna ever serve you or serve anybody in it, okay? What if we instead just stop for a moment, take a deep breath, and be thankful for it, and then think, what's the benefit to you and me when we're acting like a stinky ass with no toilet paper? When I think about it, I, I don't see any benefits at all. In fact, acting like a stinky ass is just no good for anybody any time of year, pandemic or not, right? Would you agree? So the reality is, the way I look at it is that, you know, this life here in planet Earth, it's jam-packed with adversity. It's extremely hard every day. We go through all kinds of things. And I'd be willing to bet that you've already experienced in your lifetime your fair share of adversity. Am I right? So take a moment with me here. Let's be present. Close your eyes and reflect on the things that you've already overcome in life. The stress, the chaos, the adversity, right? Like I said, it's nothing new to you and you've overcome a lot. You'll be able to overcome this. So the reality is that this current situation in life, the way I look at it, it's another storm in life that we're going to grow from and learn from. You still with me? Because a lot of people are like, hey, Duke, you don't understand this corona pandemic. It's, it's serious stuff. Dude, it, it's new. There's no cure. People are dying. The economy's tanking. Stocks are dropping. People are stuck in places they don't want to be. Businesses are struggling and they're shutting down and things are just chaos. And you're telling me to breathe? I've heard this already. And yeah, I am. Take a deep breath. Listen, I get it. I completely understand this. This corona pandemic, it's a historic event. And yeah, it's going to negatively impact uh, the economy. It's going to impact the lives of people around the world in many ways. Almost everybody I know right now who that I've spoken to on the phone has already feeling the effects of this, including myself. Um, we're technically shut down physically here. We're still working dogs and things since the clicker and the remote. But, you know, this is something that we need to take serious. But there's a difference, I feel, between taking something really serious and being hopeful and being proactive versus taking something so serious and let panic and fear kind of get in and consume you so that you become negative and you become panicky and you become reactive. It's no good for anybody. That negative reactive mindset alone and the actions that follow can make you and it can make everybody else around you much, much worse during this time, not better. So think about it, just stop and breathe. And that goes from any time of life, not just a crisis. Would you agree, right? So. I'm here with you right now because number one, I just want to share with you some things uh, that are simple and that are healthy and they're habits that you could implement. And I know that they're really important for you and they will work really well for you if you implement them. And this is going to help so that we can all overcome this thing together. So hopefully in this video, I can do my little part uh, and help you deal with some fears that you might be experiencing, some anxieties, some stress, uh, so that you can make, you know, wiser decisions, wiser choices, I mean, then you can thrive physically, you can th thrive mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Okay, so let's do some self-assessment, shall we? Be sure to grab a pen and a piece of paper because you're probably going to want to take notes with some of this stuff. I do want to give you value in this video. I'm sure, sorry, it's not short. So the very first thing that I want you to do just before we begin is to just stop. Stop and Breathe. I'm dead serious. Close your eyes. Breathe in. And breathe out. And when you're breathing out, breathe out and let go of all the tension. It's important that you get grounded and refocus right now because we can't move forward together when you're all stressed out. So pause the video and do this several times before you continue. Okay, you're good? You're all relaxed and chill? You feel a little better? All right, cool. I hope so. I need you here. Okay, you feeling good? Now let's get real. Let's get really honest with each other, especially with ourselves, because the change that we want to see in the world right now, 
and we're hoping for, it starts inside, in here, okay? It starts with you. Only you have the control to make this positive change, to be that example in life, in the world, that we all need, we all want, right now. You, me, you, me, okay? So are you still with me? Awesome. I hope so, because technically, I don't want to be alone in here talking to a camera, right? <laughs> Even though I am. I'm really hoping this is going to help you. So for your assessments, for your self-assessments, I'm going to give you something very simple. It's going to be a scale from 1 to 10. Pretty simple. You get fingers and toes. So 1 means it's not good. It means you're not doing well. You're letting yourself get distracted from your business, from your relationships. You're filling up with a little negativity. Got a little fear and panic going on. You fought with somebody. You're, you're being a stinky ass, really, okay? You're spending too much time with the corona news virus. Uh, you're on there consuming yourself with every every minute reacting. Um, you're fighting with people over toilet paper rolls in the stores. You're getting wasted every day. You're hiding in your room watching Netflix 24-7. I mean, take some downtime, unwind a little bit for a few days, but this is time to rock and roll. So that's one. That's horrible. Ten means you're doing awesome. You're great. You're the positive role model. You're dealing with stress in a healthy way. Um, you know, you're keeping your daily routines that are healthy ones. Um, you're showing up in the world with intention with compassion, you're focused, you're engaged, you're taking things like full head on, you've got optimistic, op, ugh, optimism and joy despite this current situation in life because it's kind of scary and it's, there's a ripple effect. So 10 means you're doing awesome, all right? So you're, you're there, you're showing up and you're there with people who, who need you the most, all right? So one is not good, just to recap, one means you suck. <laughs> And 10 means you're a rock star, you're in beast mode. Got it? Okay, now ask yourself, this is what you're gonna rate. What are your daily habits like right now? And how are you showing up in life to your family, to your friends, to your team, uh, I mean, to the world in general? Rate that right now, one out of 10, with everyone. Different ratings for all people, okay? You might not be happy with your rating, and that's okay, don't be frustrated. At least you're aware of it. And I hope in this video that I can help you with some pretty powerful but yet very simple habits um, that I'm going to share with you, okay? So just rate yourself there. Now, also, if you're pleased with your rating, if you're like, hey, I got a 9 and a 10 or whatever, that's awesome. You know, congratulations on that. That's what we need. Can you do me a favor and everybody? Uh, share what you're doing right now that's actually giving you a high rating down involved so that we can have this video as a benefit and just more enhancement from everybody's point of view on the, on the good things you're doing. I think that'd be really good. And keep in mind for you, even though you're doing awesome, there's always a level to go to. So there's always, you can always level up. All right. So I challenge you to keep increasing your rating as well. So what you can do is you can pause the video, rate yourself right now, and I'll wait. All right, I'm back. <laughs> you got your rating? Awesome. So listen, regardless of where you rate it yourself and if you're happy with it or not, ask yourself this. What can I do to increase that number from wherever you are to a higher level? And even if it's just by one point, that's good. And if you're continually improving, that's awesome. So don't get upset because you should be happy. Why? Well, you're improving and I just helped you. And I want you to rate all kinds of things every day with this scale. Okay, do you want some really good news now? You need it. In all the stressful storms of life, chaotic storms, adversity, pandemics or not, there's also always positive opportunities somehow that you can take advantage of. Now I'm not taking advantage of people and bad opportunities. I'm talking opportunities for you to take advantage of to like rest and recoup mentally and physically or opportunities to like learn something new and grow because you got some downtime. <laughs> we should be doing that, not chilling out. So for example, dog training, okay? You can enjoy life more with your fur buddy and decrease any stress in both of your lives right now if you have the time to do it. Um, you could be studying things like personal development so you can you know, enhance your life and be a better person for your family, uh, be a better person for your friends, your team, you know? Um, you could do things like studying marketing and business development if you're struggling, you're an entrepreneur, um, to grow or just learn some new ho hobbies, right? Because now is a perfect opportunity to crush some of this fear 
and overcome some of this procrastination you might have going on. Get your health optimized, um, get your business online so you can keep serving people and you can continue to have an income doing what you love to do. I hope you're doing something like that. If not, um, we can help you with that, but you can do things just like I do. Okay, so if it's dog training, personal development, or business development, uh, I want you to know, just a little plug here, I'm here to serve and support you because that's what I do. So this corona pandemic shutdown is a scary situation for the whole world to be in. And you know, I believe that even harder times are coming very soon as a ripple effect uh, from this shutdown, all right? I, look, I hope I'm wrong, but honestly, it's estimated right now that about 2 million people in the United States in the next 60 days are going to lose their jobs and they're going to become broke. I'm in Canada. I don't know what the stats are here, but seriously though, that, I'm not trying to instill fear. I'm just trying to keep it real, to face the reality, okay? So if anything, I'm here to tell you that it's not only a really good time to invest in personal development or business development, um, it's freaking critical for you to get yourself in waking up and in beast mode and kicking things up a notch and starting to grow. Like right now, personally, professionally, and spiritually, get growing. Uh, I mean, it's also, don't get me wrong, it's the perfect time to enhance your relationships with your friends, uh, with your family, with, with your dog. <laughs> Probably your dog if he's causing any, any issues, okay? No, seriously, I want you to be real. Ask yourself this question right now. Are you gonna be the complacent, sleepy, and everyday person scrolling on social media for hours, pig out, and then hide out for the evening with lots of Netflix shows and you know, waiting for the government to take care of you? Or are you gonna skill up? Are you gonna develop yourself right now so you're ready for what's coming? So that you can take care of yourself? your friends, your family, your team. Think about it, who needs you at your best right now? If you're an entrepreneur and you're currently temporary closed right now due to the situation and you don't have your business online generating any income right now, then I would be freaking wide open. I would be all in, I'd be investing in coaching and learning and implementing how to right now. Now's the time to do it. Now's the time to build that momentum for this um, this uphill battle this, that we're in for. I think there's a ripple effect coming. Like I said, I'm not trying to instill fear here at all. This thing is already scary enough, all right? What I'm doing is getting really real with you. The fact is, I really hope I'm actually lighting a firecracker under your ass right now to level up because I care. It's your choice though, and only you got the power to grow, push through it, and make things happen. I'm just here to share, inspire, teach, all right? But first, in order for you to move forward and make things happen, you must set the intention. You must get grounded, get your focus. Like you've got to be really clear on what you're focusing on right now so that you can reset that focus. That's hopefully my goal. If this video crashed right now, I hope you get value of it. Then when you reset your focus, you can adapt the healthier habits and positive growth so you can have a chance to thrive in this adversity and also be that role model. Okay, so here's seven tips to thrive in a crisis like this and not be a stinky ass caught without toilet paper, okay? Number one, stay focused. Make sure you get some clarity in your life, clarity on your goals that move your health your relationships, uh, which include relationships would include your friends, your family, your team, your lover, uh, your dog, <laughs> okay, don't forget the dog, uh, your hobbies, your mission and your business, as well as your spirituality, okay, those aspects. You want to be moving them forward to help you reach your dreams and live fully alive instead of being stressed out, okay, and like I said, I'm concerned about what's coming from a ripple effect. Number two, Schedule your days. Block time every day in your calendar to work on your life's work first before anything else. Rate yourself one in 10. How are you doing in those categories that I just mentioned above, okay, in number one. Reevaluate yourself every single week and consistently continue 
to try and increase those ratings at a higher level, like I had mentioned before. That's going to help. All right. Are you reactively and continuously checking over and over and over these updates on Corona, the virus, not the Corona beer? Do you, are you drinking lots of Corona beer? Do you find yourself involved in different Corona conversations on uh, social media? And you're posting a lot of that stuff and content on your, on your social media page? Um, look, face it, have you spent 30 to 60 minutes on just the Corona virus pandemic today? If so, if you answered yes, then I'm, I'm going to tell you, you're completely distracted. You've lost your focus on your goals and priorities, my friend. Okay. Hopefully you're aware though. All right. As well as when you're doing that, you're creating the chance for that kind of fear and stuff to creep in and crush your faith. All right. Instead, what I would recommend doing is try limiting your pandemic checks or crisis checks down to like two times in a day. Definitely don't do it before you start working on your life's work. But twice a day should be plenty enough for updates. Um, try and stick to websites that are posting important and helpful facts, updated guidelines and rules that are related to your area that are there to help you and to keep everyone safe. It's things like um, the government health websites related to your area, that's a good place to start. But try and stay clear of uh, news stories and drama online and all that stuff because it's really easy to get sucked in down that rabbit hole and like I said, let fear and panic in. It is. And I'm here just to help you guard that so you can be a rock star, not a, a TV star. Respect everybody doing this, okay? Do your part, do your best effort and implement suggestions and the rules as crappy as it is right now that's posted for being proactive and, and, and having an approach to be safe and you know, keeping yourself and others safe so we can all get through this together. Number three, have faith. It's a perfect time to have or practice faith and crush your fears. Why do I need faith, Duke? You know why? You can't have faith and fear at the same time. So what are you gonna choose, fear or faith? Now listen, if you struggle with faith, this is a great opportunity to practice because you know what? Faith won't grow, faith won't mature without trials and you're in a bloody big trial right now, okay? So that's good. So on a positive note, there is something to go, um, to keep in mind. Good things come from adversity. So adversity produces perseverance. Perseverance produces character. Character produces hope. God, these are things that you really want, okay? Number four, meditation and prayer. To achieve a sense of peace, you can always turn to prayer and meditation. Now you're like, okay now, Duke, stop it. First thing you're talking about is having faith, and now you're talking about praying and meditating. What are you getting at here, bud? <laughs> right? Listen, all I'm trying to tell you is, you can get high on your own air supply. <laughs> no joke, all right? Just be really careful because with prayer and meditation, there's side effects, all right? So I'm gonna give you some side effects that I've experienced through this. Um, number one side effect that I've experienced, a reduction in stress. Yeah, so be careful. 15 minutes a day can make a huge difference by bringing peace and relaxation into your body and mind. I mean, just joking. It's not a bad side effect though, eh? That's my Canadian. I mean, who doesn't want some peace and relaxation, right? Other side effects of prayer and meditation include um, developed happiness. And I'm happy, okay? <laughs> think, um, I think deep down in life, I don't know about you, everybody's seeking happiness, are they not? Another cool side effect, this is a cool one, ready? Mind control. Yep, mind control. You can control the mind, but just yours, not everybody else's. That'd be cool. Um, you get better control of your thoughts. You know, this is, seriously, it's true. You can control your thoughts. You can stop negative things from, the feelings from uh, heating in as soon as it starts happening, okay? Uh, so there you have it. You can control turmoil and chaos if you want to. It's up to you. Uh, improved health is another side effect. 
Um, you know, there's many studies show that prayer and meditation um, have benefits to your health, such as lower blood, ugh, lower blood pressure and decreased risk of heart disease. I think it's probably due to one cool thing. It's called lowered stress, right? Nice, eh? So listen, just be careful of all those side effects. We don't want you being too jacked up, too energized, too positive, do we? Or do we not? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, pray, meditate, bring all the bloody joy you want. We all need it in life right now. Okay, number five, connection and relationships. I want you to ask yourself, what human and canine friends need you at your best right now? And how are you showing up for them? I want you to rate yourself one out of 10 and think how you can level up from there, okay? All right, I want you to take your piece of paper and your pen. If you haven't been taking notes, you should go back and do that. But I want you to write down the names of the top five most important people, humans, that are in your life right now, not dogs, okay? And then what I want you to do is rate yourself one in 10, one out of 10, on how you're connecting with each of those individuals, okay? The top five people in your life right now. One is really bad, 10 is really awesome. Also rate how those relationships are going right now. And also obviously, where can you level up, all right? Um, so let's talk about your dogs. How about your, how about your dog's energy levels and the behavior versus your stress levels right now? How's that going for you? <laughs> I know we get a lot of calls regardless. So ask yourself this. Number one, there's two questions here. How often and consistent have you been spending time connecting with your dog every day, burning off physical and mental energy every day? Rate that. And number two, have you invested any time or have you invested any uh, training for your needs so that you can keep enhancing this proper relationship um, and getting the most from your dog? You know, that, so that you can kind of live happily well together, right? So just rate those two questions, one and 10, one meaning, you mean you shouldn't even own a dog, <laughs> or 10 meaning you spend consistent quality time with your dog and it shows and it's awesome, right? So now ask yourself, what can you do to level up? And like I said, if you guys come up with, if you come up with the really good levels, um, share some stuff that you're doing. Dogs are proven to be a stress relief and a benefit especially when they're trained, but it can also, the reality is they can be a major stress and liability if you don't have the right relationship and the right method of training. People come through the door here all the time and they're in a crisis, right? Not corona pandemic crisis, but close to it sometimes. One of the keys that I teach in successful dog training is consistency. And consistency is important for all clear communication and relationships to be developed, uh, to be maintained, to be enhanced, so, you know, you have to think, are you connecting enough with your humans, friends, and your fur friends? Rate it, figure it out, level up, okay? Um, are you present and are you bringing joy when you're connecting with them or are you kind of being negative or you're complaining? Because listen, be honest, <laughs> you know, be honest with all your ratings because you know how easy it is for us to, in the world to be, complaining and bitchy, so honestly, you're not going to get anywhere. Be honest, rate yourself with truth, level up. Because relationships sliding negatively can affect other areas of your life and other people in a bad way too. Seriously, the quality of your relationships has been shown to um, affect how you actually feel and how you perform in life, right? How do you want to feel? Ask yourself that. You know, how do you want to feel in life, in your relationships, and how do you want to perform? Right? Me? I want healthy, vibrant relationships, so I choose a high-performance lifestyle 100% of the time. But it does take discipline, and it does take intention, and it does take consistency. It really does. It's a lifestyle. High performance, in case you don't know, is a process and a lifestyle of reaching and sustaining long-term success while also maintaining um, well-being, okay, and positive relationships, which we're talking about. So, I mean, who doesn't want to achieve your best self and thrive at higher levels over the long term? And who doesn't want vibrant, healthy relationships? Humans, dogs, okay? 
It's not hard to achieve with the power of coaching. Having somebody in your corner cheering you on, someone who bounces ideas off of, someone uh, keeping you focused. <laughs> I needed that. Holding you accountable when you need it. You know, someone to pick you up when you're struggling or when you're down and pick you up and move you forward, you know, towards your goals and your dreams. Nothing to do with them. They're the champion you in your corner. Personally, I don't know where I'd be in life right now without my coaches, but it's actually one reason I became one, all right? So I highly recommend getting a really good coach for your success, short term, long term, uh, someone who's got your back, someone who's going to keep you on track, someone who's going to keep you performing at your best. Um, look, I can speak from example, experience. Uh, it, it's changed my whole life. So in so many positive ways. I'm a certified coach now, and the reason is because I really, really had such a positive influence on my life and such a gain and such helps in such a short period of time that I'm like, I, I got to do this and serve people. I mean, so I'm adding that. So I want you to realize that the simple things that you do, all right, go a long way in, um, in, in cultivating healthy and vibrant relationships. Seriously. Effective listening, giving a compliment, uh, holding a door for someone, serving someone, sending a kind surprise note of gratitude to someone, um, saying I'm sorry when you should, when you've been a stinky ass, <laughs> out of toilet paper, um, just being kind to others in, a, in general, it does have a major impact on you. Okay, it does. And it makes a world of difference when you, when you have those relationships. You just do those things, right? So like a story I could share with you. Sometimes when I'm in the drive-thru, and, and if you're one of my students, you've watched this, you've seen this happen, but if we're in the drive-thru, I'll pay for a person behind me in the drive-thru, a total stranger, uh, especially if they're kind of grumpy and they're upset and they're honking. Um, we don't get that a lot here, but in the States you do. Uh, and and, and my, my friends are like, oh, Duke, why would you do that? I'd just honk back and flip them the bird. <laughs> no. No. The reason is, it, that's too easy, all right? And plus, when you do that, the look on their face, huh, it's priceless, especially if they're being a stinky ass, I can tell you right now. Uh, it can be really hard to do, so I challenge you, I dare you, whatever it takes, try it, do it, and see how it makes you feel. It's incredible. So as for your relationship with your dogs, um, spending a quality of two to five minutes three to four times a day with deep practice work, having your dog work for its meals, having your dog work for its toys, having it work for affection is so powerful. I, I, I cannot stress that enough. I mean, just have them work for stuff, not so much for free. Consistent, simple, repetitive games of obedience, search games, tricks that all challenge your dog daily to think is gonna enhance your relationship it's literally going to create a new dog if you do this. Uh, I see these life changes every day with my clients that I'm working with. No joke. Two to five minutes, who doesn't have that, right? If you don't have that, you shouldn't have a dog. When I first meet with my clients, sometimes they're often really frustrated, they're really stressed, and sometimes just total hot freaking mess. And in a week or three weeks, stress is gone, everyone's smiling, families are working together in harmony, um, Oh, it's just awesome sometimes, and the thing is, anyone and just about everyone can do it, right? With great success, with the right methods, okay? So if you need help with that, find a really good trainer. I'm going to give you some links at the bottom of this video. So actually, you know what? That reminds me. I've got something to serve you right now, serve you even better. Hopefully, I even add more value. I've created a free dog training mini video series for you, and there's like six videos in there. Um, that are going to be really a benefit to you and your dog. So you can sign up for it. It's totally free. You go to my website, dukeferguson.com or unleashedpotential.ca. Either one of the sites, you can sign up for the free video series. And to make it easy for you, I'm just going to post some links and stuff under the video in the description box. So you can go there after this video, sign up for it. It's free. There's no obligation. So I, I do ask one thing. You consume it, you do the work, and you reap the benefits my gift to you. So 
Once you sign up, you're going to get a video uh, a day, one a day for six days, and each video itself for homework. Um, it teaches you the secrets that top professionals around the world will use to get like engagement with the dogs, clear communication, um, attention from the dogs, getting compliance, and you know, getting the dog to think and do obedience and stuff like that, uh, even if they're deaf. Okay, so be sure to sign up for it because it's a lot of free training, and I know you're going to love it. Let's just say that this mini video series that I'm talking about, uh, this little course, it'll serve you and your dog, and honestly, I really hope you take advantage of it. Okay, so back to back to the the the, the tips. Okay, uh, connection, connection, and relationships. So make sure that you block time. I mentioned that before. Block your time to actually focus intentionally in cultivating and and uh, maintaining healthy, healthy, vibrant relationships. But try and do that, block that time every day. Connect with one of those top five. Even if you're isolated right now and you can't meet in person, uh, I get it, right? You can be face to face with anyone around the friggin' world in <laughs> today's technology. And it's not hard to use. And it's about the best kind of social distancing you can do right now. So it's perfect. FaceTime, Zoom. Keep in mind also, the presence and energy that you bring in your communication is really key. So try and avoid texting and messaging. Um, I don't know if you've ever been in misunderstandings. That's, that's the worst thing to do. Talk on the phone instead. FaceTime instead. Zoom or do Skype instead. All right? Because now, even if you're a distance, you can still be connected. You can tie flies for fishing with each other. You can have a dance party with each other. You can have a prayer session. You can do distance date nights. I used to do distance date nights with my wife when I travel and do seminars. Um, you can do wine night with a friend. Um, just to keep in mind though, all with positive conversation, nothing negative, and not too much wine so you're gonna get super drunk and hung over the next day so you can't perform at your best. And that's after you worked your dog, okay? Hey, you know what? I just thought, other than the free dog training videos that I made for you, um, if you need more help with your dog, um, you can do live you know, uh, Zoom training sessions, live online, face-to-face, one-on-one with an Unleashed Potential Dog Trainer. Um, it, it works great. I actually train live. I, I actually train live one-on-one -on -one here with people from all around the world all the time. And so do my, some of my other trainers. So if you're interested in that, send me a message to one of my, to my websites that I'll post in the, in the description box for you whether it's uh, Unleashed Potential um, or DukeFerguson.com. So if you're interested, just, uh, yeah, let us know how we can serve you and, and send us a message. So let's talk about number six, okay? Number six is hobbies. Yeah, hobbies. All work and no play makes, right, a bad life, don't you think? Well, not a bad life, but all work and no play makes it dull. So. If you're passionate and you love what you do for a career, it can actually be really easy to overwork and not really realize it until you get enough time that goes by and then you're feeling burnt out. And that ain't good. Too much of anything is not healthy. Too much water, <laughs> too much vacation, too much of this bloody corona. So ask yourself this, when's the last time that you spent time doing something that you love to do as a hobby. Uh, I know sometimes dog training can be a hobby and then we do it professionally, but it's yeah, just rate yourself one in 10 and then level it up. What is it that you're missing, okay? And what I want you to do is just block some time throughout your day or your week to make it happen. Notice I mentioned that block thing, it's called a schedule, you should have one. Uh, I don't know what it is for you, what your hobby is, but my favorite thing to do other than training dogs is fishing, yep. Yes, I'm a total fishaholic. Geek right out on that. Fish anything. Catch and release, but I also catch to eat. Um, in fact, you know what? I fish every single day for my dog's meals, except for in the winter. Um, yeah, I do. You get four or five dogs sometimes. So when I first started my business, I got away from fishing, and then I soon realized something was missing. Something major was missing in my life, and I, I, I just couldn't figure it out. And then I got back into it. I got back into fishing, and then, boom, it was just like, it put back extra joy and vibrancy in my life. And instantly, I got new friends, 
um, to fish with me. So it, it's totally awesome. And it also helped me rejuvenate and be more better in my business. So in the summer months, I actually added fishing to my schedule as a must do so I can catch all of my dog's food. I added it to my schedule, my daily calendar. So here's the scoop. Now I feed, uh, I feed and train with a raw diet every day. So the really cool thing is now that I, I, I catch it and I make it and I, and I train with it, um, now I have to do something that I love to do, which is fishing, so that I can do another thing that I love to do, which is training and working and playing with my dogs and other people's dogs. And you know what? One of the best things of this is I, it's the best thing I ever implemented, and I also get to spend time with my friends, cultivating good, healthy relationships, because I take them out fishing, because I can only catch so many fish from food, right, with my dogs. It's a total win-win for myself, for my relationships, my friends, my family, and, and my dogs, right? Happy, happy, happy. That's all I usually say. In the winter months, I don't fish. I have to, I run out, I get a freezer full of stock, but um, my dogs work for their meals, just like I do. So if you ever want to see how I make their food and I train with it, because it is raw, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll make some educational videos in the future for you there as well. Um, I'm going to have a busy year. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, feel free to ask if you want to see it. So, number seven, health and energy. So, look, a lot of what I've already touched on already in this whole video affects your overall health and your wellness, and a lot of what I'm about to tell you, I know you've already heard before, probably a lot of this in the video too, and you might say, uh, Duke, it, it, it's all common sense. Uh, I've seen the video, it's all common sense. But the real question is here, are you actually doing it as common practice? Now, I'm not talking about fishing. If you like to fish, hey, hook me up too. I'll go fishing with you someday. The way that we're acting and the energy that we bring has an overall impact on us. It does. It really does. So how do we want to feel? Everything I've taught you in this video so far is going to change if you just implement one or two things. Try and implement them all. Now, I fully realize, look, sometimes it's so hard to bring joy. It is. And positive energy to a situation. I get it, heck, <laughs> I've struggled with that. I still do. Less and less as days go by and months and years go by. But here's why. If you're keeping awareness of your energy and you're keeping awareness of your thoughts and your feelings and your emotion, how you show up, then you're gonna soon realize that you have the power to change, okay, all of that, and you'll be able to do it a lot quicker with some of the tips and habits that I've given you in here. That If you implement them and create a habit, it takes a little while, but you can do it. So if you don't have one now, create uh, and stick to a good he healthy schedule. Set up, uh, what I want you to do is set up good healthy daily routines, okay? And don't skimp, don't ever go side to side or anything. Just make sure you stick to them. Your physical and mental health is critical for you to succeed in high performance. So try getting enough quality rest. Make a goal for about an average eight hours, I know. Give or take, you know, an hour, seven hours, eight hours, nine hours. Depends on how much you played the day before. Now, you might say, ah, oh, Duke, I've been running on five or six hours. No problem. People tell me this. Well, listen, so have I. I've done it most of my life. And you know what? I can tell you that you can perform so much better when you're not impaired and you're having a lack of sleep. Because, honestly, it does. It impairs you, okay? Trust me. Watch what happens when you get enough rest and you own your morning with a routine that's healthy. Watch what happens. It's just going to blow your mind, right? So uh, another tip is to hydrate daily. Make sure you drink plenty of water and you eat as healthy as you can. You ever hear that stuff before? <laughs> Look, garbage in, okay? It's, the, it's often the garbage that we put in our mouths, right? Not corona. Depends on what kind of corona. It's... The lack of hydration, uh, what we put in our mouth, makes us feel like crap. And then what happens? We become stinky asses, fighting for toilet paper and Lysol at the grocery store, right? <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just the way it is, right? So uh, what are the as for hydration? Three liters of water a day, I think, is the average suggested amount. Maybe a little bit more for men, maybe a little bit less for women, but you, you get the point, right? I'm not going to pound on this stuff. It's common sense, Duke, right? I know being fully hydrated, though, keeps you energized, so get sipping. Sometimes when I'm really tired and I drink coffee and I take 
I've been through the supplements routine. Man, I you know, blew my heart out about 10 years ago. So uh, what I want you to do, and I wasn't even working out, but here's a good thing when talking about workouts. Work out about, uh, if you can do workout routines about five days a week, um, 20 minutes at a time, 20 to 40 minutes, mix it up with cardio, mix the day up with weights, body weights, uh, stretching. Uh, one thing I love is my TRX suspension straps. So there's a lot, there's like hundreds of exercises you can do with a TRX. If, if you're not really sure what a TRX is, it's okay, just, just Google it or YouTube it. They're just suspension straps that were made by the, the Navy SEALs to, to train anywhere. It, it's a totally awesome tool, lets you do hundreds of exercises. The whole point is, there's a lot of things you can do. So there's many uh, ways you can work out at home uh, with body weights, there's online programs, there's apps. So if you can't get to a gym right now because you're due to the closures and isolation, right? Get in the game, start working out every day, move, just move, get your blood flowing, literally, even if it's just breathing and doing exercises. Uh, another thing is the world is your playground. It might not be for some of you right now, but if you can get out in nature, hiking, oh my gosh, walking and running with your dogs does count as exercise for you and your dog. You, you and a friend, keep the social distance, um, but if you're not allowed out, uh, just abide by the rules right now. So if you can't get out due to the isolation, uh, you, could, you could do a treadmill. You know, you could put your treadmill back in the corner there, uh, train your dog to run on it too, right? Can you imagine staying home, working out with your dog? We do it all the time, so, and you can too. Your dog has to have some obedience and control, but you can do it. Uh, playing obedience tug, tug games, is so much great exercise, mentally and physically, for you and your dog. I sweat up a storm when I'm playing tug. Uh, although tug is not really for everybody due to the physical aspect, and the fact that you actually need to teach your dog to let go of a toy when you say let go. But I do obedience fetch and I do obedience tug and it's phenomenal. So uh, obedience tug is one of my favorite things to do with my dogs after I go through a process of training. All right, but not all dogs like to play tug so it's not for everyone. Uh, let me know in the, in the comments if you'd like to see a video that in the future where I'm playing tug with my dog and you know just doing some of those games for you guys if you want to see it. Um, I'm going to be creating a lot of stuff for you that actually this year. So uh, actually thinking about it, I can share my personal routines, my morning routines, daily routines on video if you want to, to see what I'm doing and how I'm thriving over in the adversity. Um, another thing is I love it when my coach says to me, this is a good tip, right? Nap more. You heard it. Nap more. All right. Rest more instead of working more. Can you freaking believe it? <laughs> it's sweet. Uh, the thing is, when you work smarter and work harder, you can work less. It's incredible. Uh, I used to think, you know, I started this business, I used to think that like a massive hustle, 18 hours a day, every day, was the way to success. And I did it. And I'm going to tell you, no way. Nothing compares to working harder and smarter with a coach. I, hands down, I'll never go back to them old ways. My new goal now, all right, is to be done by 1. Done by 1 p.m. Start around 7 or 8 and be done by 1. Now, don't get me wrong. Listen, you got to work your buns off and you got to hustle more, especially in the beginning when you're like starting out and you're growing. No question. Hands down, you got to bust your butt. But uh, there is a limit, okay? Where's the healthy and sustainable long term versus unhealthy leading to burnout? I said that above before, above in the comments. Um, trust me, I've been there. I've learned the hard way. I've been burned out. And I've had to take in, like a summer off. Okay? Not good. So in order for us here all to get through this coronavirus pandemic, we need to be proactive about the things that we're actually doing and not reactive. Okay? So remember this. It all starts with the person that you look at in the mirror, okay? So let's stay focused, let's get grounded, and let's be the change that we all want and we all need. It's my hope, by watching this video and implementing that some of the things that, the high performance habits that I've shared with you in this video, uh, that you decide today, today's the day that you're gonna set the intention, you're gonna commit to some of the things that I've suggested in here, all right, I, I really hope this is a value. 
Let's get more focused and grounded amongst all the bloody drama and all the chaos of life. Let's do it. Let's all show up as our best selves. Let's be the role models we all need right now. Okay? Can you imagine how life would be? Think about it. How would life be if everybody did that? Be pretty cool. Like it or not, there's something to be aware of. The choices you make every day directly and indirectly influence other people's lives and future. Something you may not have thought about. So let's get serious, like dead serious, and lead with intention. All right? Um, like, you might not think, but more people are watching you than you know, right? Your family, your kids, right? Your team. So think of this. We're either contributing to chaos and darkness, or we're contributing to being that kind, compassionate light in this world. So it really comes down to, to you. How do you want to show up in this world? Instead of being a stinky ass is fighting over toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Let's bloody well commit today. Let's get healthy performing habits instilled. Let's rock through this pandemic because we need to be that positive role model that we all need right now in each other's lives, all right? If not for yourself, do it for your kids. If you do, do you have any kids, then do it for your friends. And if you don't have any friends, <laughs> you should. Do it for your family. Do it for your team, all right? If you can't do it for yourself, let's just, let's lead. Let's show more love, right? Let's show more compassion. Let's, let's show more respect and self-discipline. Let's care for each other way more than we have been in the past to make sure that we all get through this pandemic together. So you know what? Let's do it so that we can look back years from now saying, I'm proud of how I showed up. And you know, I've influenced these people in a positive way. What would that feel to you? People you might save a life. Simple things here. So I really, 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 really hope you found this video of value. If you liked it, uh, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Share this with someone that you feel that would it be a benefit to. I personally think it would be a benefit to pretty much everybody for self and personal development. But share away. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos that I make for you. Obviously, if you're making comments, I'm going to be making more videos. So. If there's something that you want to see, post it down in there. Um, try and relate it to the video with suggestions. I've got a big list for this year and a little slow editing. So um, don't forget also to take advantage of that helpful link that I'm going to add in the description box for your convenience. I'll do that for you. Um, if you're struggling right now, okay, um, and you're in need of high performance coach, you're in need in, for something to personal development, uh, you're trying to get crushed some fears, overcome, have some courage, be bold, uh, you know, and your, just your total overall life in general, so that you can perform at your best over the long term, then send me a message. I'll be more than happy to, to have a conversation with you to see if we're fit and help you out. Um, I'd love to help you out with high performance coaching. It's honestly, it's the only coaching curriculum. Um, it's actually backed by science. Yep, it's the only one that I know that I've seen that's backed by science. Uh, other than being a professional dog trainer, I'm actually a certified high performance coach. I loved it that much. I went through a whole program and, and said, I, I, I got to share this to the world. So uh, it's changed my whole life. So it's great. Um, so if you need help also, other than yourself with your dog, even if you're a professional trainer, I train a lot of professional trainers. Uh, if you want to enhance your training skills or, hey, grow your business and take it to the next level, uh, especially online, right? Now that it's critical, I'm not screwing around. Find somebody, get it done. Uh, this ripple effect is, is it's a little nervy. So I can serve you there as well. Also with, uh, with video training, with programs, live face-to-face. -face. We don't have to be in person, right? That way I don't have to shower for a month. I'm just kidding. So I can, I got programs that I can help serve you when it comes to those things as well. Um, you don't have to leave home and you can, you can start today with some of those things. So uh, keep in mind, if, you know, I'm only one person, so I also have several Unleashed Potential dog trainers at different locations. They also would love to serve you as well. Um, not in person at the moment, but live online, it's a way to go. We're all online right now, wherever you are in the world, can't get out, need some help, we're here for you. 
here to serve you, here to support you. Um, just give us a shout. So look, thank you so much for watching this video, sticking through it with me. Uh, I really hope, right? I really hope that it served you well, that you did find it a value. Um, I hope and pray, right, that you make it through this pandemic with less fear and less stress, maybe from this video. I wish you good health, good relationships, and a, and a continued income over the long term here. And as we usually say here in PEI, you know what to do now. Get her done, all right? And let me know if you need any help. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.